Hobby Science Lab. Have you ever wondered what's inside a mechanical dinosaur? Because we're going to saw this thing in half. I bet you I could beat you in a hot dog eating challenge. I want to open this, can I? Yeah, open it up and then Hobby Papa will saw him in half. See what's inside and... <laughs> Is this guts going to come out? I don't know about guts, but all his mechanical stuff's going to come out. <laughs> I'll eat them. animatronic replica of the T-Rex or the long name Tyrannosaurus Rex. T-Rex is a meat eater. His head is about five feet long. Its skull had holes in it which made it lighter and easier to carry around. The massive jaws had 50 to 60 blade-like teeth which were about nine inches in length. I guess he wants to get chopped up. Wow, I want <laughs> First, we're going to take the batteries out. Am I wearing this upside down? Yes, you are. <laughs> That's better. A little big for you. Uh huh. Never ever attempt what we're about to do. Now we're going to cut him in half. Go, Hobby Papa. Oh, I stand over here. Ow. First, we're going to take the batteries out to be safe so there's no electricity while we're cutting them in half. I don't want to breathe the dinosaur. You don't want to breathe the dinosaur dust? <laughs> okay, then stand over there. Can, can you make this thing tighter? Hobby kids are standing over there, away from the saw. We already sawed the head off. Now we're going to saw his rear end off. Okay. There went the tail. Now we're going to cut his body in half. We'll do it in two sections. Triceratops is very rough, especially around the tail. The dinosaur we just opened up is called Triceratops because it has three horns. The Triceratops was an herbivore, which means it ate plants and shrubs. This is the motor here that makes all of the tail move and the head move and the arms and the legs. And then that's the electronics right here. 
This is called a circuit board. This is where all the information is stored to tell the dinosaur what to do and how to move. That's what is the, the brains in the dinosaur that makes everything work. And this is the little speaker that makes the dinosaur sound. See that right there? They have a little speaker. The speaker that was inside the dinosaur is about the size of a nickel. And this is where the dinosaur sounds come from. And then you see the little LED lights that they have inside these clear, like, horns that they show. Wow! This is one of the gears that hooks on towards that was moving the tail. And this is the, the linkage that connects the gears to the motor. Isn't that cool, guys? Uh-huh. Yeah, now we know how toy dinosaurs move. Please don't do me that. I would like to know what your favorite dinosaur is. Leave your answer in the comments. We don't want to make this dinosaur any angrier than he is. He says to subscribe today. Whoa. Is this made of plastic? Oh, uh, that's the electronic brain. This is plastic right here. Oh. Yeah, this is all plastic. All of this plastic in this has intricate wiring in there. <laughs> shoot, shoot, go away. Flick that dinosaur. Ah! Wow. If you touch these, can it shock you? Let's see. Ah! Zap! Just kidding. It can't zap you. You got something in your ear, Hobby Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know there's something different about me? No, not at all, Hobby Pig. What's different about you? Ah! Ah! You're growing a dinosaur finger. Who, who said that? I did. <laughs> I'm gonna touch these together. Too late. Mm -hmm. What? He's done. Who's done? The dinosaur. He's done? Yeah, he's done. What's he done for? Mm -hmm. You can't put it back together. What? He's all cut up. T-Rex says click on that white circle button above his head to continue watching videos with the Hobby Kids. Mm -hmm.